Okay, well, we're doing the uh, on the air test for the Team TS6M this evening, which is one of the current model multi norms. Fiberglass printed circuit, looks good quality inside, and hopefully, somebody's at the end of this to talk to. Tango 21 calling the electric man, do you copy? Okay, this evening we're on a new Team TS6M, which is one of the EU multi 80 channel sets. Um, on off volume squelch, auto squelch, RF gain, usual channel change, and the mode switch actually takes it between Euro and UK channels, plus a 919 normal switch. Over. Well, the only thing I had to do was to turn the power up a little bit. It was doing 3.2 watts, and the deviation was a little bit low uh, at about 2. So that's now 2.2 to 2.5, and the power is 4 watts. And it wasn't a struggle to get to 4 watts. See, very good. Could be that down to, uh, I mean, can you use more than 4 watts? I mean, you can't, can you? Um, okay, yeah, well, nice that it does this 4 watts like it's supposed to. Yes, that's right, it is. So, I'll just complete my video. I'll just be back to you in a second. Okay, Richard, I'll speak to you in a short while. Okay, so, there's not really much more you can say about it. The display looks a bit dis indistinct. I've still got the plastic on it, uh, which is the protector. When you operate the auto squelch on this, go to normal and it gives you an electronic pip. Go to auto squelch, it gives you two electronic pips. The mic has up, down, and bleep you can um, stop happening because when we change channel, you can have it bleeping. I'm, he's calling me a liar now. Okay, I thought that's what it did. <laughs> All right, so the next thing I'm just going to do is I'll tack a recording on the end of this of what the transmitted audio sounds like into another radio. So I'll just be a moment and I'll do that for you. <laughs> 